justice, 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 justice for Kanika Jenkins. And good morning, um, everybody. But I wanted to comment. There was a video posted today by the founder of the Doc Ellis Foundation. And the article read, Kanika Jenkins, Chicago Tribune are liars. And that was her video title, so y'all can go to it because she do make some valid points. Uh, she also, if you want to join her group, was Kanika Jenkins Case. Uh, hashtag fact check, hashtag justice for Kanika Jenkins. Now, I found it on the Jasmine and Jordy uh, YouTube page, but um, you could get there either way. She has some valid points. And so I just want to say real briefly is now we have to remember the Chicago Tribune is not the investigative team nor the uh, justice system in the United States. And we just have to stay focused on getting justice for uh, Kanika Jenkins and for Teresa Martin, her mother, by staying focused on the facts. And the facts is that Kanika is dead. The fact is there's a lot of unanswered questions. The fact is the mother is grieving. The fact is the community is grieving. That energy, that energy from everybody on YouTube or wherever they, 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 they're tuning into this is necessary. So I did hear the lady say, oh, well, you know, so many people are saying some freedom of expression. That's the constitutional right. Freedom of expression. If we give a, if we express ourselves such as like Malcolm X did, well, you can't, we can't now say, oh, well, you're crazy. Oh, well, this person is violent or this, it's an expression, self-expression. And everybody who uh, has come upon a Kanika Jenkins case they have a right to express themselves they, because why? They have feelings, they have emotion, they have children, they have loved ones. And so that's necessary. And we just got to remember that the Chicago Tribune, uh, obviously they're liars and obviously they don't run the justice system, nor do they run us. We got to keep searching. We got to keep looking. We got to keep contacting legislators. We got to keep uh, the boycott going on uh, uh, anything Illinois, anything Illinois, because obviously we can see that the Chicago Tribune is probably in cahoots, uh, you know, with, well, let me just say, we just got to keep searching. So, so again, that video is Kanika Jenkins, Chicago Tribune are liars. And check it out because I know that, um, Solomon was up there in uh, Rosemont. Uh, he started, well, he st I don't want to say he started that movement because really Kanika Jenkins started the movement, but her mother, Teresa Martin, is the one who continued that movement by jumping in there immediately and, and going on the, the doors, calling, knocking, and bringing some light to this situation. And now that Teresa Martin did bring the light to the situation, we as the community black, white, Chinese, green, whatever color. We have to get justice because there's too many loved ones who could be hurt. There's just too, just, just, just too much. So let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Chicago Tribune does not run the justice system. The, uh, Rosemont, Illinois police does not run the justice system. And if they do, then that's a whole nother movement. Thanks for listening.